just I just I just speak my peace keep my peace Good, y'all welcome to the speak my peace podcast as always i'm your gracious host greg lacy like we always do about this time I hope this episode reaches you all in good health hope that you all are taking care of yourself and your loved ones man a couple days ago was our four years anniversary this is huge this is very huge i know we reached a bunch of milestones uh here on this podcast whether that's a third year anniversary Second year anniversary, episode 100, episode 111, whoever the case it may be. I am astonished. <laughs> I, I, I've said it before. I am astonished that I decided to move forth with this. And I am still here four years later. And I'm growing. I'm growing as an individual. I'm growing as an owner of this media space. And this evolution has been great. I've said it a thousand times before, and I'm going to keep on continuing to say it because it's unbelievable for me. But I did not see this lasting this long. I did not see this getting this far. Like, this is episode 118. There's 118 episodes. It's more if you consider the extra. But that's a lot. This is me talking to you all, venting in, in most of them. And man, those. <laughs> early episodes was was me rambling and y'all stuck here with me some of you may have joined later along the journey and i'm equally appreciative of you um because you saw me in a, in a better space but for those of you who saw me who saw the improvement season after season episode after episode i appreciate all of you i appreciate you for rocking with me because those first few 20 plus episodes were not good. I'm not gonna say they weren't good. I just don't listen to them. I don't listen to any of my episodes, but they weren't where we are now. And I'm happy that I stuck with it this long to get to where I am. I told you all episode 98 about different things that I had got rid of coming into a new year and different things I was starting a new year. And one of those main things was was building new habits. And this is a new habit. Not the podcast in itself, but me being here after four years. I have this, I don't know if it's a trauma response or if it's just something I've just gotten used to. But I have this thing to where, like, I don't stick with things for longer than three years in my life. Um, Whether that's a hobby, whether that's a person, whether that's an interest. I have this idea of... And it's not even an idea. Let me not say that. I have this feeling. This is just an innate feeling. It's not telling me to move on. It's not telling me this is enough. But it's just every time I see a change in my life and I look back on it, it was like, wow, that was three years from when I started it from when I ended. And it's not something that I'm doing um, subconsciously. It's not a decision I'm making. It literally just happens like that. Um, one of the most common th- ways and a common things that that happen or common times that that happen is me moving um whether that's me moving to a new apartment me moving to a new city um that always happens um same thing with career interests be there for three years my i was in the air force for three years and left um i'm coming upon let me not say that because i'm my employer i don't know if my people i work with be listening to this podcast or not but i'm coming up on three years with my current employer and let me just say i'm probably not gonna be around for four years if i am then that's a good sign, but if I'm not, it's not going to be a surprise. Um, same thing with relationships. You know, three years is like it's either a shift or it's the end. And so this is trauma response for some reason. Three years is always that transition for me. And so, I mean, hell, we've seen it with um, me DJing. I started DJing in maybe 2015. I don't remember exactly when I started because I started. I started 2013, but when I started, you know, releasing mixes and stuff from the time that I released my first mix and my last mix set was three years. And so it's like a bunch of things that have happened in my life to where the lifespan is, is three years. And the fact that I'm here on this fourth year of this podcast is is powerful. Um, it's rejuvenating. And it also just tells me that I'm doing I'm putting in the work 
to rid old habits and create new habits. Um, this project and this podcast in itself is a baby of mine. It's the first time that I put my mind in something. And it's not even something that I was passionate about in the beginning. I'm going to be 100% with you all. I've been more passionate about uh, about other things and have grown away from those things. This most interesting thing about this podcast is not something I was passionate about. It was just something that I wanted to do. And I started doing it. And here we are four years later. Um, we are touching other continents. Um People listen to us and tune in to us on in, in many different countries and we're riding out and I'm, and I'm, I'm appreciative of it. This year, this fourth year has been the most, or the journey to this fourth year has probably been the most fun, has been the most enjoyable because I feel like we're 20 plus episodes in for this season, season five of the podcast. And it's been easy for me. It's been easier for me than other seasons have because the episodes are just flowing out. Like Currency said, you know, dropping record after record like they're slippery. That's what I feel like with these episodes. It's like episodes are just coming out of me. Uh, I'm still going through the same process as far as preparing. I'm still going through the same process of of figuring out, you know, what y'all like. Um, figuring out, you know, the different key points and the different topics that I need to speak upon. But it's easier now. And that's a good thing and a bad thing. But that just tells me that because it's easier, I'm enjoying it more. And it's becoming less as a um, uh, a task. And, it, and it's enjoyable. You know, like, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to devote so much time to it. It should at least be enjoyable. You know, not everything is always going to be enjoyable. Um, but the fact that it is enjoyable and I'm still enjoying it, it tells me that this is something that, you know, that that's here to stay for the long run. And that is the most exciting part about this thing. If you've been listening to this podcast for a while, you've heard my story three or four times about how I started this podcast and having an idle summer and thinking about, OK, do I want to rap? Do I want to do something else? And I end up, cho- I end up choosing um, coming with the podcast. And the reason why I chose going with the podcast rather than going down a, the rapping lane is because my perfection. I never, because of how critical I am of the music I listen to, because of the type of music I listen to, I feel like out the gate, I would have to sound like that. And I didn't want to go through that process of building up myself in that lane because of the luxuries of the type of music, the quality of music that I have enjoyed. I would want to be on that level right out the gate. And I knew that that would not happen. Me, you know, learning me picking up that hobby so late in my life i knew that that wouldn't be the case and so that kind of scared me away from it but i still go back and forth about that like the local rapper is like one of the most common jobs of people that i know it's like you you try to go another route in life that didn't work out and now you're a rapper everyone at one point in their life know someone who was either still trying to rap or has attempted to rap for us in a period of time It's for me it seems like it's an easy thing to do and I never wanted to be like those people I wanted to come out the gate and be you know on the levels of the greatest and so kind of got off topic but the reason why I brought up that being the most common thing is because I see it oftentimes. I see people I went to school with I see people who I met in another you know, path in my life who are making music. And there's a few within a bunch that may make good music. The majority of them is just not making good music. You could tell that it's just not a passion of theirs. They're not really. Um, and because they lack the passion, they're not really determined to um, grow like the you, you they release a project one year and a project they release in two years it still sounds like the project they released two years ago that's not growth that means you're not determined it means you're not passionate about your improvement and in your craft you should be passionate about your improvement you should want to improve yourself you should want to continue to build and, and look for new ways and implement new things um within your craft 
And so I'm glad that I didn't chose that. I didn't choose that even though I still straddle the fence today. But I started to realize, even especially with this episode, with this not with this episode, especially with this season of the podcast, with it being so personal. Um, I started to realize that I didn't have to make music because these seasons are my albums. In most cases, with those early episodes, the episodes were my album. Like those 54, 55 hour plus minute long episodes, that's longer than most albums nowadays. Most albums nowadays, they 45 minutes. You may catch some that may be 49 minutes, but like the average album is 45 and below. And so I think about with those early episodes and each episode being so long, even now, you know, we have 30 minute episodes, some maybe sub 30 minutes, but this is my album. You know, you can dissect each season and see what I was going through. That first season is is me just getting an introduction and, and using my voice and speaking about certain things that I see going on. Um, getting things out of my head that I've seen on social media and have kept in for so long now have an outlet for that. Season two was me coming back and preparing to become a professional. Um, Finishing up school, still going through the school process, but also getting a better cadence with um, releasing episodes, getting a better cadence with the research, getting better cadence about the topics that I was speaking about. And then season three, that was kind of my breakthrough. Um, prior to this season was probably my most personable season because if you all remember I was going through things um I had to take a pause because I couldn't find a job and that you know put me into a depression I didn't want to record through those things uh finally got a job and then I took a pause again because I was trying to figure out my cadence of how I balanced work life um that work life balance was needed and I didn't really know how to um I didn't really know how to mesh the two and so I had to take a break then. But I detailed a lot of things in that season as well as far as just what I was dealing with internally while still covering certain topics. And then we know last season was or season three, tail end of season three and last season, um, season four was me speaking about just things that were going on in the world um, with my people um, during this pandemic and police brutality still being prevalent despite the fact that we had something that was killing us at a high alarming rate. Um, and we spoke about those things and we, and we, we've held people accountable, um, for how they were treating us. And then this season has probably been my most open season to date. And I think that's why the episodes are more free flowing because they're coming from our heart rather than me going through media and finding stories that I feel like you all would want to hear It's sharing my story with you all. And I'm the feedback I get a lot of times, um, the conversations that I have with you all outside this podcast, it's rewarding. It it encouraged me to keep on going because I don't share these stories because I hope that you all relate to them. Um, I don't share these stories because I hope that they resonate with you all. I share these stories because it's something that's on my mind. It's something that you know I've dealt with for a while. And in most cases, it's sometimes it's something that I maybe maybe having an initial thoughts about it, and I'm using my podcast to voice those opinion but at the end of the day the most rewarding thing is to find out that you all are going through similar experiences as experiences i'm detailing in the season and that has been the most rewarding aspect i think i've received more feedback from this season from people than i had from previous seasons and that show that tells me that i'm growing that tells me that this podcast is growing. That tells me that this podcast is resonating with people. Um, and that in itself is something that, you know, you can't take away from me. I'm not going to hold you off for too long. Um, again, very appreciative that I've made it this far. I just want to encourage you all, you know, you may have an idea in your head. You may have a business in your head. You may have, you may just have something in your head that you can't get out that's been sitting there for a while. It may have been sitting there for a decade, a year, a couple of months. Start that. Start that thing. Because if you don't start that, you never know what's to come. And I didn't know what was to come to this podcast, but I knew that I wanted to start it. And so I bought a microphone, made an intro, and you all have heard that story. I'm not going to go through that 
for that one million time, but you all know my story and how this started. And I had that idea of, okay, I had too much idle time. I want to speak about things, but I don't want to use social media. So maybe I should use this outlet. And I did the proper research. I watch, you know, the people I look up to. I've seen other interviewers. And I said, okay, this is how I'm going to do this. This is what I'm going to call this. And this is what we're going to cover. And here I am four years later. And my podcast is being listened to across the world regularly. I, I stress on that because in the first couple of seasons, I would get listeners from other countries. But I can tell that they were bots because of the listening behaviors. It was like, I have a couple of listens on Monday. I released the episode on Thursday. I have a couple of listens on Sunday, by Sunday. I wake up on Monday and it'd be 300, 400 listens. And, you know, initially you see those jumps. You're excited as hell. And then you start to look at it and you start to see this country, this country, this country, different continents, different continents. And you're like, okay, this is like either somebody is spreading the word to listen to the podcast to their fans, which is worldwide, or these are bots. And I quickly learned how to decipher the bots from um, the authentic listeners. It's because of the listener patterns. It was like, there's no way that I'm on episode 14 of this podcast. And you listen to episode eight and you just didn't listen to any other episode. Like there's no way that that happened. But now I'm seeing my listening behaviors and we're spread across the globe. We're spread across other continents and those continents are repeating each episode. They're on episode 98, they're episode 99, they're episode 100. So they're tuning in. They have alerts. They have these things set to tune into this podcast. And that is the most heartwarming feeling. To know that someone went out their way to set the notification on whatever app they decides to listen to this podcast to alert them that a new episode was dropping. That is rewarding. I can stop this podcast today and I will be fulfilled because we are 118 episodes in and I spoke about many things. I may have gotten some things wrong. I've got a lot of things right. I've changed my mind about a lot of things, but at the end of the day, it's authentically me. And that's what I'm happy about. When I go away, when there's no more of me, and I have my nieces and nephews, I have my own children, I may have grandchildren. This is going to live on. If you don't, you know, if they don't know me, they're going to have these audio files of their grandfather, great grandfather, father, uncle, speaking about the things that he was passionate about venting about the things that he wanted to get out of his head and detailing his experiences the things that affected him um speaking about breaking generational curses and how to break generational curses they're going to hear all these things and i am so satisfied with knowing that so again as we get out of here man start that thing get it out of your head write it down put it in your notes app wherever the case it may be just start that thing wherever it takes you it takes you but you won't know what's possible until you set foot to that track or set foot to that trail or set foot to that route. You have to start. Everything starts with a start. Yes, the culmination of an idea is great, but get that out of your head. And how you get that out of your head is many different ways. You can brainstorm. You can say, you know, uh, I'm thinking about doing this. Let me brainstorm. Let me get a bubble and, and put different ideas that are relating to the topic out there. Um, if you need equipment, if the, whatever the thing you have in your head needs equipment, research the equipment, you know, the most cost efficient for your budget, do that. If it doesn't cost any equipment, do the research on people who, before you who have also done it. And this is all not just relating to podcasts, just for any field. Like nothing is new under the sun. So there's someone who has done something that you've never done before. Always remember that. And so just do that research. Start it. Start it. Start it. Start it, y'all. That's a Speak My Peace podcast for this week. Um, I'm Greg Lacey. My what to watch for this week. Uh, what is that show called? Damn. Um, I forgot the name. I'm going to look it up real quick. But 
HBO has a limited series, and it's kind of like it's not like The Wire, but it's um by the same director as The Wire. Um, it's not a sequel. What is it called? I think it's called um On the Town. Apologies for this delay, y'all. Um, my what's watch for this week? Oh, we own the city. My what's watch this week on HBO Max? We own the city. That's speak on peace podcast for this week. Y'all be safe. Those ideas, get them things out of your head and start it. I'm out.